this is the time to expand a little bit beyond Westport. So what you're saying is that we're stepping out of my comfort zone and going into areas that I'm not familiar with. So when I walked into this bungalow, I paused for a moment to try to figure out what the heck am I going to do with this space? Okay, this place is a little spooky. We have this window that was in the bathroom. There were two windows. We 86 one of them. We are relocating it into the master area. We are going to fly. Hi, guys. Welcome to iFly. Ah, oh, look at that. That's what oh, we're doing. Oh, no way. Life on Mars, the home makeover show. I'm Mar Jennings, and I created six casual luxury design principles for renovating or designing any space in your home. My casual luxury designs are the answer to any design dilemma, and I'll show you how. So when Paul calls and says, drop everything, head to downtown and meet me, I have the complete lineup of what's in store for season three. I drop everything and I head to downtown. I'm here. Oh, hey. Yeah, Have you seen everything that's going on down here? How exciting. It's amazing what's happening downtown here in Westport. The last couple of years have been nuts. Absolutely. I mean, look what happened with the library, that complete renovation. I know, and, and Bedford Square, it's huge. So I think this is the time to expand a little bit beyond Westport. Paul knows how to present something to me, and he's been around long enough to know that if he wants to break some news that might not get the best results that he's looking for, he's going to take me to a public place. He did that last year, and this year he did exactly the same thing. We've been getting so many calls and so many emails and, and letters from people who want us to be part of their lives too and want your help. So uh, this season we're all about variety, we're going to expand our wings, we're going to go literally beyond Westport, and we're going to see stuff that everything, all corners of Connecticut has to offer. You know, <laughs> the minute the cameras stop rolling on season two, at the end of that party, as we're packing everything up, Mar says to me, so what are we gonna do for next season? And I'm like, oh, give me a minute. And we're so fortunate that the show being available online as well as on TV, we're getting lots of exposure. And so it was like staring me in the face the whole time. So what you're saying is that we're stepping out of my comfort zone and going into areas that I'm not familiar with? Yeah, like places I bet in the state you maybe never have been. I know you've traveled a lot, but uh, I got some really cool stuff teed up for you. There's a kind of a, a house that, um, I didn't know existed in Connecticut and something that you've never seen for sure. I'm really excited about that. I'm going to hold that a little secret though for later on in the season. So variety is truly the spice of life. <laughs> and design. So let's start off easy. We're going to start in a place that you know really well. Union House. Oh, great. Yeah. They called, you know, you helped them find the place and they're so excited you sold it as well. They're ready for you to come back and help them out do a complete outdoor transformation with a couple of extra things thrown in. Are you up for that? I'm totally up for that. They're the nicest people, so I'm thrilled that I'll be working with them again. Well, let's get going. That's exactly what this season needs, a variety of different projects big, small, and everything in between. I imagine when you thought about telling me this and you, <laughs> you, you got me a cup of coffee, you were thinking this was not going to go so well. No, I just know that, like, you know, you trust me with this one part of the whole project, which is to sort of figure out the scope and the scale of everything and what we're going to do. And uh, I just want to try something really different. And different can be strange sometimes. And sometimes inspiration comes from the most obvious of places. Well, I love the fact that you're thinking completely outside the box. We're branching out. We're branching out. I'm good with that. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Here's to now, that. let's get to work. <laughs> Mark Jennings. Great, great, great. Congratulations. Thank you, bye-bye. Union House is sold, and it's sold, oh, oh, the phone's ringing, by um, 
by me, Mark Jennings. So I had the privilege to sell this beautiful house called Union House, but I had many challenges in taking on this new listing. One, there were multiple realtors in the past that failed. So now I was up to bat and I surely was not going to fail. I brought in Lily in August. They helped with the staging of the entire house. And then we also used it as a backdrop for one of their ad campaigns. After that, I also did multiple open houses and a big launch party. It was huge. It was a glorious evening. There were people coming from all walks of life. Mar greeted people in the driveway. I was at the front door and then escorted them in. It was a wonderful evening of celebration of both design, transformation, and a real estate adventure. What ended up happening was on one Sunday afternoon, one couple walked in at the end of the day. Then I said to them, how long have you been looking? Oh, we just started looking. So I figured, see you later. They're not going to make any decision anytime soon. But Caroline, that's her name, said to me, no, this is my house. I want this house. That's where I lit up like a Christmas tree. Ah, it was fantastic. So when I walked into this bungalow, I paused for a moment to try to figure out what the heck am I going to do with this space? But I didn't expect the challenge that lay ahead. As America's top lifestyle expert, it's important for me to have a reliable mobile network. That's why I like Pulse Cellular with their premium unlimited wireless plans. Now that's amazing. The best part, if you sign up today using the promo code MARTV, you'll get an additional 10% off your monthly wireless bill for as long as you stay with Pulse Cellular. Switch to Pulse Cellular for the best wireless experience. Hi, we're the Bresons from New York City and we're making Westport our new home. We were looking for a new home outside of New York City and we found this house and Mar was our realtor and he did such a great job we decided to keep him as our designer. We wanted Mar to help oversee our whole backyard transformation. The Breslins are making Westport their permanent home. Now Westport has been my permanent home and being able to introduce them to people and introduce them to resources, introduce them to the lifestyle of what Westport has to offer, that to me is extremely thrilling because Westport is such a wonderful place to live. It's for everyone and coming from New York City and the hustle and the bustle and being able to come to Connecticut in this wonderful area where we have such a sense of community and pride and so many wonderful things to enjoy, that to me is what makes it so important and really adds fuel to my fire to make them really love Westport as much as I do. What a beautiful family. Being a mom in town, I had so many resources to share and I'm going to enjoy watching their family grow in town. I've been given a priority list. First priority is the bungalow. I also have a swimming pool, an outdoor entertaining space, and I have to be mindful that the kids get an area as well. I love having outdoor space. I grew up in a traditional home with a front and a backyard, and we would spend tons of time outside as kids. And so it's going to take a great imagination and a really great design sense to really bring it to life for them in, in a beautiful way. I know he's up for the challenge, but I cannot wait to see him get started. The Breslins want to turn the bungalow into an extra living space when they have guests. So when I walked into this bungalow, I paused for a moment to try to figure out what the heck am I going to do with this space? Now, someone did live in it for a while and then it became a lot of storage, but over the decades, it really was run down. This is a real show, okay? This is going to need a lot of work. I have to start by reinforcing it and making it safe. I have to rebuild it. The floorboards are rotten, so I have to address that. It needs all new windows. There were birds living in the fireplace. 
the bathroom. Well, <laughs> no one was ever going to use that bathroom. It's going to need a kitchenette, flooring, painting, everything. Ah, look at that. That's what oh, we're doing. Oh, no way. No, 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 we're, no, we're not gonna do it quite like that, but that is, Paul. Oh, what, that's amazing. Have you thought this through? I don't know, maybe I didn't. Okay, this place is a little spooky and in need of desperate repair, so it's time for me to uh, let them do what they have to do to get this place in tip-top shape. So this cottage was supposed to be a small uh, renovation, but as we got into it, it turned into a bigger project because we figured if we're going to do this, and if we're going to do this right, we should take the extra time and energy to update the cottage with all the things that really complement the existing house as well. The little bungalow that's at the back of the Breslin's property, I mean, you could almost really have torn it down and built over, but it's such a cute little spot. I can't wait to see what they try. Who doesn't want a guest cottage on their property, especially with the expanse of what we're building outside? I think it's going to be a fabulous renovation and one that's going to have multi-uses over the years. We have this window that was in the bathroom. There were two windows. We 86 one of them. We are relocating it into the master area. It's more appropriate there. Gives us more light and it's really more indicative of the size and the scale of this room as it all comes together beautifully. The water heater, the heating system, that's all gonna go up there. And the best part about it is that it gives me the opportunity to recycle that old door that was up there. If you recall, we're gonna restore it and reuse it again and put it exactly where it was, but with a fresh coat of paint and certainly update it as well. Paul said, since we were spreading our wings this season, he had a little extra surprise for me. So, while the work continued, he slipped away. Our first time in, uh, you know, last season, I did the zip lining, no strings attached this time. No strings attached. Well, this is a perfect example of just that. So. I know, so what do we do now? So, perfect, well, welcome, welcome. What you do to start off first, we guys just need to go grab a screen, fill out your waiver forms. When you're done with your waiver forms, you come check me out and we get you guys ready for that flight, all right? Got it, let's do it. I'm a firm believer that with every team, there should be fun outings, things that really are memorable and exciting to do. We all remember last year when we went zip lining. <laughs> I know I remember that. I figured this year I would totally push the envelope and let my team spread their wings as far as possible. Ah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> That's what oh, we're doing. Oh, no way. No, 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 we're do no, we're not going to do it quite like that, but that is, oh, what, that's amazing. Have you thought this through? I don't know, maybe I didn't. So right in Westchester, New York, there's this great place called I Fly. I Fly, you fly, we're all going to fly. And it's this tubular tunnel that pushes up all this wind, and then you get this free fall effect. So of course, this was something none of us have ever done. Keep your elbows slightly bent, fingers should be open, palms your hands should be flat and in line with the rest of your arm, and just push your elbows back, and when you look up, you should be able to see your hands, okay? And it was definitely at the top of my list of experiencing, not only for myself, but Team Mar as well. The other thing we're gonna do is a high flight today. So it's gonna be towards our last rotation. About halfway through that one, I'll grab onto you. We'll yeah. crank up the wind speed. I'll fly up and down, throw some spins. It's awesome. I do all the work, you're just along for the ride, all right? Paul, of course, was going to do it. And Chris, the guy behind the camera, I figured he was going to do it as well. You know, one of the coolest things about that experience is the fact that when you're in the tube, you get to do it several times. And each one of those times is actually longer than if you actually jumped out of a plane and did free fall. And I gotta say, at the end, they did tell me that I was, I took to it really supernatural and that maybe I was the best. So I get in there and I realize I'm bottom heavy, okay? Bottom line, 
It's a whole maneuver, balancing act. You know, I'm an athlete, but you know, there's not much I can do about my lower body weight, okay? But this was the perfect activity to experience for season three because it truly is a season about a leap of faith. We are jumping into areas that we haven't jumped into before, spreading our wings beyond just the Westport area. So if we're going to spread our wings, we might as well free fall and enjoy the process together. So we did our team building activity. Now it was time to roll up our sleeves and get down to business. All right, Breslin family, are you ready to finally see your casual luxury bungalow completely transformed? There you go. <gasps> I'm a firm believer in using what you have and of course subsidizing it and adding wonderful pieces that can complement the existing furnishings and bring it more to a uh, casual luxury design. Of course, I'm going to say that. It was made very clear that some New York pieces were going to be incorporated in the overall design. That's okay. Those are non-negotiables. I can make that work. It's time to shop. I'm really going to focus on size and scale so that the space doesn't feel crowded. But it has to be cohesive with the items from the Breslin's New York City apartment. My six casual luxury design principles totally transform this new space. Represent Mother Nature. Embrace light and reflection. Natural materials and colors. Repeat shapes and patterns. Repurpose. Consider size and scale. And now it's time for the big reveal. All right, Breslin family, are you ready to finally see your casual luxury bungalow completely transformed? Yes! yes sir. All right, right come, come on. on, let's go. There you go. <gasps> oh my God. Beautiful. Kita, look at this. Oh no, Kita. <laughs> and it's our couch and our your table. Your table, your artwork. Oh my, Mar, amazing. <laughs> so it really was about infusing what you had as well as what we could complement it with, with very, subtle earth tones. And I took that nod from the fireplace, which is original, it's perfect, it's oversized. So those colors just really come into the space with one dominant color of blue. And we're all wearing blue. And we're all wearing blue. And we're all wearing, we're all wearing blue. blue. My signature color. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, behind me was the piece that was, believe it or not, in your bedroom. Why is there a microwave in the master bedroom. So that's my repurpose component of the transformation. But I think what you're really gonna love is that you can have guests stay here. Your guest quarters now have two twin beds and I love designing spaces with twin beds and because it does maximize your guest potential, right? Yes. So take a look. Oh my goodness. Kira, this would be great for you and your friends to come over and have a sleepover. I think what was so fantastic about this transformation is that this space was just all one big open concept space. We also were able to really create some privacy. That way if someone wants to sleep a little later, they can step out, enjoy the living room, dining area, and still have some privacy in this space. Hey, it's bigger than some of the apartments I used to rent, so I can live here. It's definitely bigger probably than your first apartment in New uh, York City. Sure. Right. <laughs> I mean, this is really well appointed. It checks off a lot of boxes, but most importantly, it's very inviting, right? And it is beautiful. Thank you. Casual luxury simply has no boundaries. It works both indoors and out, large and small. It really puts a bow on the entire experience here by transforming this little bungalow. I'm Mar Jennings. Until next time, keep it casual. Next time on Life on Mars, the home makeover show. 
So we are here at the Union House and Mother Nature has been so difficult in working with us. We have a very tight timeline. We have to get this pool done by June 1st. It is already spring and we've been hit by four major snowstorms. We have met with the production team, wardrobe, of course, documenting this incredible experience of being part of this movie. 